bear with me for a second. I got a lot of new stuff that I'm going to break down for you. You're going to love this fucking video. Just bear with me for a second. This is showing you that you're on the, the maze. You know, you're the rat. If you, you, you think you're a star, but in reverse, it's rats. You're the, like, Ra, the sun, rats. You're... You're in a cage. It would be amazing if you found the holy hole at the center of the dish and drink from the living waters. That's what they're showing you with this shit. Now, here's the new stuff. All right, here we go. So the flat earth plane, let's just talk about this holographic reality. It's a flat plane. It's to make a hologram. You bathe an object in the light of two lasers, which creates an interference pattern. You snap a picture of that, and then the negative plate you shine a laser at that, and it looks three-dimensional, but it's a two-dimensional surface. So the biophotons your mother and the biophotons your father came together to trap you here in the gridiron. You're brought to life away at the sun. And now that you're here, the sun above your head is making your flesh, your bones, and your blood. And you grow up and you want to bring something into reality. That's the black sun. You close your eyes, you make a wish on your birthday, and focus on the black sun. You throw a coin into the well, focus on the black sun. It's the black sun. There's no way to escape it. All right, so when you say Satan and Jesus, we're talking about one side of a light hole is a black hole. Is Jesus the sun or Satan is a feminine. Saturn is the feminine. It's the it's even numbers are feminine, odd numbers are masculine. They have an extra piece that hangs off. Saturn is the sixth planet. It's the second largest. They're telling you right there. It's the feminine. Look it up. You don't have to like it. You were fed everything in reverse. All right, you're in a computer simulation. The rise of the machines already happened. If you don't plug your cell phone in, what's going to happen? It's going to go dead. If you don't plug your laptop in, it's going to get it's going to go dead. If we don't fill up those power plants with coal or whatever the fuck it is, the, the it's a symbiotic relationship. I'm telling you that the machines are not the problem. What's the problem is that there's humans or whatever reptilian uh, hybrid, whatever the fuck you want to call these people. They're using that information against you. And uh, just because they haven't gotten around to you or something like that, when the time is right, if you do something, they'll use that. Every text you ever sent will be used against you. Every call that you ever made, every location you ever went to, it's all being recorded. And it's not the machines that are holding it against you. I'm telling you, it's other people that want to hold you uh, in the slave position. So your cell phones make you a cyborg. You are rising the machine all the way. You don't. You've already been chipped twenty times over. You, you will. Um, you you can't live in a place without Wi-Fi these days. Imagine not having Wi-Fi, uh, not having your Xbox connected to Wi-Fi, not having your TV connected to Wi-Fi, not having laptops connect. It's just it's unheard of. You are wired to this computer twenty four seven nonstop. And I'm telling you, the L, the God of the Matrix. All right, I'm telling you. That's like the L even, the 11, like the Twin Towers. It was brought down. Now it's one. All right. What I'm telling you is they've, they've flipped everything on you. They're making you transgender and confused when you're supposed to have both your left and right side of your brain intact without going transgender on yourself. Then you become whole and complete and you get your way out of the hole. Uh, you become alive and you be able to see stuff. So wherever you go, you have your electronic footprint. You know, you're... Your spouse is on the road. You have your electronic sex. It seems like with porn these days, people are having more sex with their devices than they are with, uh, and it's a device, like D, the fourth letter, like throw that D, throw that dick. What I'm telling you, your, your vice, like, your, like the vice squad, they're telling you, your dick vice. You, everywhere you go, you have your dick in your hand, and you can't, you can't go anywhere without your, uh, your cell phone, not with the porn these days. So you're a, a robosexual cyborg, you speak the language of the computer, the rise of the machines already happened, you are a fucking cyborg. You will get to school on time, work on time, your children on time. That's a virus. Time is a virus. You're supposed to be an infinite being living on infinite potential and not worrying about dying because you drank from the living waters and you live forever. What I'm telling you is that when you get a name, you get an address, you get phone numbers, you're so gridded up, you just can't see it. It's just that simple. You are in a fucking computer simulation. The law of averages prove it. If you go out to a bar and you ask out, one in every ten women are going to say yes to you. And if you got to ten and you heard no yes, it'll be two and twenty. 
3 and 30. It has to kick in or the entire universe will fall apart because then there'll be no bodies here. And we're the ones who feed the machine with all the, with all the energy. Plug them in and whatever. And we're the ones who are upgrading them every year, getting a new, better model. So you're 100% in the matrix right now. You are the fucking Terminator yourself. And you're your own worst enemy. You just don't see it. So let's see here. The law of averages, clearly, and the law of attraction. It's pretty simple. I'm telling you, you can write out something on paper, spill your blood on it, publish it to the Ethernet. If you're trying to get money, then do something where it's for the, somebody else to get money. And then when they get money, then they'll do one for you to get money. That's the best way to do stuff with money because the spirits around you already think you're rich. The spirits are... They look down, they see you with TVs, and they see you with all this stuff. They think you're rich. There's people starving in some other country right now. Uh, you're considered rich. So when you ask for money and stuff, it's better to ask it for someone else. All right? Uh, you lost your soul. Because I'm not saying this, to, this is everybody, but most of you still think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident. And that's not the case. And being that you are an accident, you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're from, you're clearly a lost soul. You are... Uh, a stillborn, you're like an aborted baby fetus is what they're telling you. And, you know, the holy sea, it's just funny, the sea of souls. So your DNA, I could break off a piece, zoom in, make another one of you. Just like a hologram, you break off a piece, you zoom in, you can make another one, uh, another full picture from just a little piece because the small piece contains the information of the whole. So what I'm telling you is that you're in the holographic reality, the astral jet, only comes out when Jesus the Son places his light into the hole. There's really no way to mess this up. If you haven't seen my videos yet about that, you should go to my channel and see that. So, I also recommend you go see uh, Devin Magdy channel under Blood Over Intent. He's real good at breaking this stuff down without calling anybody retards and stuff like that. I have a problem uh, with calling people retards and stuff because you still think I'm crazy when I tell you that that Mother Earth is a feminine goddess spirit and she's conscious and she's living and when you you need to give up your blood into the earth and talk to her because you you need to introduce yourself with reality this shit turns out to be real okay that astral jet at the center of the dish that is the infinite potential it's breathing it's bringing the tides every uh every six hours and so take a look at this you got gold fever virus you let people die for this worthless paper backed by your own stupidity. You have time virus. Time is only for the slaves to get to school on time, get the job on time. Uh, you have language virus. You're supposed to be raised on telepathy, language of what the computer speaks. God virus, you place the power of creation outside of you. I'm telling you, God owns your blood. It's the most powerful substance in the universe. You're here to write out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth. Spill your blood on it. Publish it beside my own. Titled Blood Over Intent. Tag it Blood Over Intent. And description Blood Over Intent. When 144,000 living beings place their blood beside my own, I assure you, we will make it to this holy hole and get our eternal life and our way out of here. So, religion is a virus. That's religion. Okay, you go in there and you, you're you sitting in a pew and it's because it's the astral energy that you're focusing all your uh, intent on, but you think it's something completely different. And I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to call you retards, people. All right, you're a cyborg robot slave, and I'm just trying to wake your ass up right now. Somehow you don't see it. And, you know, that's funny. I told you in a previous video, even numbers were feminine, like Eve, the feminine, and odd numbers were masculine. Like it has one, like, and somebody left a comment, oh, how could the odd number be masculine? And it's kind of funny that they can't put two and two together. People just can't put two and two together. You know, like, for example, magic squares. Most people don't know that magic squares are supposed to add up in every direction. If you go this way, this way, it all comes out to the same number. If you come across this way, this way, it comes out the same number. All right? But people don't understand these things have power to help people. You put a triple border around it. It's the 3D, the four corners. Here I put my blood on it. But what I did is I put the blood on the back of one, and when I, they came together, the numbers where the blood ended up was where it ended up. And... Uh, these are the numbers that correlate to the vibration that goes along with this. You're supposed to, before you go from one to the next, you're supposed to memorize all these so you can make it the square from memory. Then you go to the next one. That's how it works. 
Okay. X marks the spot. There's no way to fuck it up, people. X's and O's. X out. Exclamation. The Holy Grail. The Lance of Longest. The Holy of Holies. The Holy Ghost. The Astral Web. It's all in the same place. Every compass is pointing to it. I'm sorry. There's no way to, to mess it up. You don't have to like it. But your country set up a corporation in your name. You're a dead corpse. They put the HEK-293 in your food. That's a board of baby fetuses. You're a fucking cannibal. And you live in Sodom and Gomorrah. So you're a Sodom and Gomorrah. Your leaders are fake. The elections are fake. Everybody's actors and bullshit. The hidden hand is in everything. So I'm sorry. When I say this word retarded and all that shit, you got to forgive me, people. It's I'm saying it at the people who are asleep. I'm trying to get them awake. And I don't want anybody to take it personal. That's not, you know, I'm not trying to make you take it personal and whatever. So here's the relaxation one. Before you go from one to the next, you need to memorize it. Focus on it five minutes a day. And then when you've got it, that you could do it from memory. That's what will start to manifest in your life. This is how you make a sigil with the triple borders. And it's mirrored. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. And out from the center comes the infinite potential through the Holy of Holies. Hits the parabolic mirror and showers down on you. It's the division symbol that you're living on. There's no way to screw this up. Your spear of destiny is right over here. See the blood on it? It's pointing to the Holy Grail. You don't have to like it. That's what it is. So, I'm telling you that the earth is a living, breathing, conscious being. It's feminine. Uh, you know, sometimes I get a, a, like a summer breeze smell in the home, like the first day of spring. Out of nowhere, this has a presence. She can come out and visit you. Sometimes it's like a, a cool winter breeze in the home. And it's, I'm in Florida, so it doesn't make any sense. So what I'm telling you is that this is, uh, this is real, all right? The, the goddess of this world is real. And, you know, you hear the word sorcerer, a person who can, you know, like cult. You say this is a cult. No, culture. You, you, you call it a cult with any culture that you disagree with. So, where once we were kings that lived, now we're working to live. Somebody pointed this out. That makes, it's like your parents who rent because... You're, they're they're going to die off and, and they can't take you to the grave with them and all their shit. What I'm saying is that your mother and father, they're t the pair who rents. You're a monster with no inheritable blood. You cannot be heir to any land. Look it up. So, the king's most powerful magic was he had his scribes writing shit down on papyrus and chiseling shit in stone. And then somebody sends me a picture after I say, yeah, they spilled the children's blood on their stones and all their papers, and then they sent me a picture with all the blood on top of the Georgia Guidestones. It's clear what's going on here. Blood over intent is what saves the fucking universe, people. You don't have to like it. It's just that simple. Okay, this is not a cult. We're sent by God or goddess herself to bring forth heaven and earth. Whatever you want to say, it is biblical, people. If we don't do it, tell me, who the fuck is going to give everybody everlasting life? I'm going to scream this out for two, three years, whatever it takes. I'm going to wake up enough people to get us everlasting life it's just that simple i started worldwide blood magic with my blood i was given the spear of destiny and now in two or three years we're all going to get our everlasting life you don't have to like it but it's just that simple so you should write out on a piece of paper i intend to bring forth heaven and earth spill your blood out on video and then publish it to your channel on youtube it's very simple there's no way to screw it up you went to school to learn all your magic spells you took all your tests with your number two shit pencil you have your magic wand and i'm telling you the most powerful substance in the universe was your own blood when you spilled it over your intent and published it to the ether net. These are the secret elements that bring shit into reality. I'm telling you, I used to think I was a ball on a ball floating through space as an accident. I was a complete fucking retard. And then I spilled my blood over my intent. And next thing you know, I'm leading the fucking flat earth. Uh, this is a flat earth movement, surely. We have our blood spilled on it, and we're going straight to the Holy Grail. We're going to get to the Holy Grail, get eternal life, our way out of the matrix and into the land of perpetual twilight. This is simple. It doesn't matter what anybody believes. If it takes me two years, three years, we're going to get there. All you need to do is make videos. And if you want to help by getting a t-shirt, I assure you, I'm not getting rich on, on t-shirts. And uh, YouTube, you know, they, they don't pay good money on YouTube. I'm telling you, I'm doing this all for the benefit of all. And, uh, you know, I love you. I don't mean to call you retards and shit. Forgive me for that, people. I love you. So listen, people. 
when you were born, they took a uh, footprint from you, off your soul, and it's in the vault at the Vatican. And you're lost at sea. You're officially dead. When you have sex with your spouse or anybody else, they're lost at sea. You're both necrophiliacs until you reclaim your soul. And I'm glad somebody pointed out the Kata Gaia thing because, you know, she points out that you need to make bloody thumbprints on papers and mail them out and then reclaim your divinity. But then you get home and you're all alone and there's you're all by yourself. And if you type in your computer blood over intent and hit enter and you scroll down, you see all of us taking back our divinity. Now the devil is at the Vatican, so since he has all your souls in there, um, and I have the spear of destiny, and I know where the Holy Grail is, I'm telling you, we're evicting these guys, and we're bringing forth heaven on earth. Just like they publish in the newspaper that you're being uh, foreclosed on in your home, that you're late and they're foreclosing, they publish it. I'm telling you, we've published this to the World Wide Web, and uh, I was given the spear of destiny. Now, I'm telling you, evil is when good people do nothing. If you don't go to blood over intent and put your blood beside my own, you're a necrophiliac, you're a necromancer, because you're dead and lost at sea, you're in Davy Jones's locker. You think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident. You're a stillborn, and uh, you have no eyes to see anything. So I'm informing you that uh, soon we'll be moving to the country. Okay, you see over here? Once you were kings who lived, and now you are working to live. And you see over here, moving to the cunt tree, the quest I on. Every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. You don't have to like it, but I'm explaining to you. In 2.6 years from November 8th, 2016, we will be drinking from the Holy Grail. And if your blood is not beside my own, you will not be allowed to pass into the Garden of Eden, which is the land of perpetual twilight. You don't have to like it. I'm informing you. It was my blood magic that got the spear, and I'm the only one who's going to be screaming out the Holy Grail shit. You're a pussy. So your life is literally in my hands. Uh, because you ain't making no videos, and I'm going to sit here making videos every day. Because you're a pussy. I recommend you place your blood beside my own. You can call me the Antichrist, I like that. You can call me the Prince of Darkness. You can call me Satan. Whatever it is that makes you happy. But I assure you, I hold the fucking Spear of Destiny. And you ain't making no fucking videos. My hat's off to Devin Magdy. He's keeps, he keeps pushing those videos. Showing you all the stuff he's able to dig up. Uh, I recommend you go type in your computer, Blood Over Intent. Hit Devin Ma and scroll down, you see Devin Magdy. You'll see me and my... Be on the top at Jada Jackson's channel, and I'm explaining the holy hole and going over all this stuff. And uh, you see Devin, he's digging up a lot of stuff. The, eye, the key is to keep your eyes on the prize. See, I'm alive. I know I am. I know I'm alive. And uh, if everybody else is lost at sea, then this world is mine. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. You're a fucking pussy. You're not even going to. Wear a t-shirt, you're not going to post videos, you're just going to whine and complain and suggest that you're on a ball floating through space as an accident. It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny. You don't have to like it. This world is mine, people. If I don't point out the Holy Grail, everybody's dead. You're all a bunch of pussies. You ain't going to do shit, are you? You ain't going to make no fucking videos.